Man, teamwork make a dream work. Hell yes, Snoop. While it is possible to take on the battlefield alone, the structure of battlefield is set up in that you get benefits from working as a squad, and you want to leverage that as much as possible to dominate. Each squad will have one leader and up to five players in it. In the bottom left, you can see who's in your squad as well as what class they are. And if you ever notice that you're by yourself or maybe only have one other player, go to the team setup menu and try and condense the squads. As you'll see in this video, there's some good benefits being in a squad, so you might as well maximize it. One of the biggest benefits is spawning. Battlefield is known for its map scale, which can be difficult at first to manage, but working together, you can maintain spawns and continue to push the line. If your teammate's alive and not in combat, you can spawn directly on him rather than having to spawn back at base and run or take some type of transport vehicle back up to the action. Because you're getting right into the fight though, be cautious of where you spawn. When you're in a squad spawning off each other, you're generally going to stay close to one another. And with the squad's indicator in the bottom left, you can see what classes your friendly squad mates are. Try and choose your class based on what the others are using or what the situation is calling for. If you have enough coordination, you should be able to get a pretty well-rounded squad, ideally synergizing classes to maximize your effectiveness. On defense with a couple tanks rolling in at you, grab a couple assaults with anti-tank rockets, a support to keep dropping more ammo and explosives, and a medic to keep everybody topped off on health and coming back to life. The best way to work together with a squad is through communication. Each squad has its own voice channel to communicate between each other. On PC, you can also incorporate text chat, which also works for the entire team. But through communication, you can give your teammates a lot more intel. If you're the passenger in a vehicle, you're likely facing a different direction than the pilot or driver. Calling out those players can help him make better decisions as well as yourself. If nothing else, you at least have the squad leader with the ability to mark priority objectives. If your squad works together and can secure the objective or defend it, you'll earn bonus points for the entire squad. And if he's not marking anything, through the same menu where you request healing, request ammo, you can also request order objectives. Just as you would expect in war, Vehicles are some of the most powerful components of it, and you can amplify their effectiveness by calling out where enemies are coming from. Most vehicles are not meant to be used alone. Even with planes, they have multiple seats now. Spawn directly onto friendly squad mates' vehicles and control the skies with defensive turrets, calling out bogey locations, or operate on the back of a heavy tank, breathing fire onto enemies and calling out where people are flanking. With large squad sizes, people spawning off each other and good communication going out, you should be able to strategize and dominate the battlefield. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Stone Mountain 64 for Battlefield Bootcamp.